Good morning, it's Monday, November 16th, and this is your HuffPost Morning News Brief. France has responded to Friday's terror attacks in Paris with a bombing campaign against ISIS. Warplanes dropped at least 20 bombs on the terror organization's self-proclaimed capital in Raqqa, Syria. A massive manhunt is underway for at least one suspect expected to have had direct involvement in the Paris attacks that killed over 130 people. The tragedy in Paris dominated Saturday's Democratic debate as candidates focused on the fight against ISIS. It cannot be contained. It must be defeated. What we need to do is lead an international coalition which includes, very significantly, the Muslim nations in that region. On ABC's This Week, conservative Bill Kristol argued 50,000 troops might be needed to defeat ISIS. If ISIS is to be destroyed, America is going to have to be in the lead. You can do a lot more from the air, but you are going to need troops on the ground. An outpouring of support around the world as landmarks were lit up in French colors and people showed their solidarity with Parisians. A New Yorker's tweet went viral after he empathized with his Muslim cab driver following the attacks. There are a lot of people that misjudge people because of what they look like and who they are and the background that they come from. I had no intention of this going this far. I had no clue that this was going to happen. Artists have also taken to social media with their own unique messages of hope and peace. And in Paris, a man sat down at his mobile piano and played John Lennon's Ode to Peace. That's the news you need to know. Consider yourself briefed.